It's been a busy couple of weeks for me, so honestly, I couldn't come up with a topic idea for this episode. <laughs> well, desperate times and all, I guess I need to tap the old Blog Oklahoma Writing Topic Idea Generator. Drum roll, please. Oh, it's the Roy G. Biv Writing Challenge. Write a story using each of the colors of the rainbow, but no more than once, and not in a list. Oh well, that's what came up. Challenge accepted. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. With all these days of rain we've been having, I had to do something I haven't had to do in quite a while. Mow our backyard. <laughs> it had overgrown into a lush, thick green carpet of grass and weeds. So on the first blue sky day, I set out to mow. Like any good procrastinator, I had to prepare first. <laughs> I dug out the work clothes, some old jeans, a ratty orange Wilson t-shirt, and of course my favorite floppy-brimmed boonie hat. I put on some sunscreen gathered a couple of bottles of water, and for my final prep, grabbed my iPhone, put in my ear pods, and launched a Spotify radio playlist based on the Indigo Girls. And with all that done, I finally headed out into the vast expanse of my small backyard. Unfortunately, mowing the backyard was not without incident. Uh, on the second pull to start the mower, the rope snapped on me. I had to tie a knot in it so I can get the mower started. What a way to begin. The lawn was, unfortunately, still a little bit too wet, so I managed to uh, clog and stall the mower more than once. It was after one of those incidents that I was looking down at the mower, watching the intake as I was proceeding along, and I uh, failed to look up. <laughs> I ran headlong into a red metal bird feeder that we have hanging from our pecan tree. Now, no damage was done to either me or the bird feeder, but it was definitely a little embarrassing. <laughs> Finally, after what seemed like an hour of tiring work, I finished mowing our backyard. I sat down in a yellow lawn chair and drank greedily from a bottle of water. As I mentioned in the last episode, I'm out of shape. I was exhausted. While I was sitting there recovering, I uh, happened to just look around my backyard, and to my surprise, off into one corner, I had missed a spot. But instead of tall grass or the usual milkweed and sand burrs that comprise my lawn, in this spot was a nice, thick, viney-looking plant with small violet flowers. Eh, I'll leave them for the next time. Well, I believe I got all the colors in there. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Well, how did I do? Please let me know in the comments or contact me through social media. So, do you think you're up for the Roy G. Biv writing challenge? I look forward to reading what you come up with. If you'd like to use the Blog Oklahoma writing topic idea generator to help spark an idea to write about, just visit blogoklahoma.com slash topic ideas. Or you can find it listed under more at the top of the blogoklahoma.com website. I'll also have a link to it in the show notes. I've recently updated the Blog Oklahoma YouTube channel. Right now, you'll find the latest few episodes of the podcast. It's audio only, so I hope you'll enjoy it. The newest episodes will be up on YouTube about a day or two after the podcast has been posted. I hope to have more video content up at some point, so please stay tuned. If you would, please hit that subscribe button. I'll have a link to the YouTube channel in the show notes. Talk about timing. I started writing this episode two weeks ago. It took some more time to do because, unfortunately, things kept popping up. And what I said in the intro is true. I had no idea what I was going to write about. I used the Blog Oklahoma Writing Topic Generator, and the Roy G. Biv Challenge is what popped up. This past Friday, as I mentioned on timing, on June 26, 2015, marriage equality became the law of the land, 
and the symbolism of the rainbow was shown throughout social media all day long and well into the weekend. The rainbow even lit up the White House. So to all my friends and neighbors, congratulations. Love wins. I'm happy to announce as of June 28, 2015, Blog Oklahoma has 883 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get a hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. The Independence Day holiday weekend is coming up, so I'm going to be taking a few days off. I'll return the following week with an all-new episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time. (laughs) 